Ways to Treat Eosinophilic Esophagitis, or EOE. A gastroenterologist, or GI doctor, confirmed that you have EOE by examining your esophagus with an endoscope and finding eosinophils in the tissue samples examined under a microscope. There are many ways to treat EOE. How your EOE is treated will be a decision between you, your parents or guardians, and your healthcare provider. Treatment options for EOE are designed to stop the inflammation in your esophagus. With the inflammation gone, the esophagus will heal, you'll be able to swallow your meals effortlessly again, and you'll feel better. The ideal way to treat EOE is to remove the food or foods that are making you not feel well when you eat. But with all the possible foods, how do doctors know where to begin? Doctors have identified six kinds of food that most frequently cause EOE. Milk, including all dairy, wheat found in breads and pasta, soy, eggs, fish and shellfish, and or peanuts and tree nuts. Using this knowledge, doctors have developed food elimination diets, or FEDs. These diets eliminate one or more of these foods from your diet. After several months on a food elimination diet, your GI doc will do an endoscopic exam. If your esophagus is healed, you'll be asked to reintroduce different foods back into your diet one at a time. Another series of endoscopies will be done to determine if any of these foods trigger the return of eosinophils and the inflammation. This type of investigation can take a year or more and might mean that you will have to have many endoscopies before the offending food or foods is identified. Another type of food elimination diet asks you to stop eating all foods and instead drink an elemental formula. Almost everyone with EOE will get better drinking this special formula. As with the other food elimination diets, an endoscopy will be done to ensure your esophagus is free of eosinophils. Then, foods will gradually be added back into your diet to see which foods are safe for you to eat. Once again, this type of investigation can take a long time and involves many endoscopies. However, your esophagus will heal quickly, and by the end of this investigation, you will know what foods to avoid to keep your esophagus healthy. When following a food elimination diet, it is really important to eat only the foods that you've been told to eat. If you try to be sneaky and eat something you've been told to avoid, your doctor won't be able to find out exactly what is causing your EOE. While following any of these food elimination diets, a nutritional expert or dietitian should be involved in your care. The dietitian will make sure that you're eating the right foods to keep your body strong and growing. If you and your parents or guardian decide that a food elimination diet is not for you, or if the food elimination diet you tried does not work, then there are medicines you can take to control your EOE. Proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs for short, are commonly used to reduce stomach acids that sometimes squirts up into the esophagus, creating heartburn or acid reflux. Sometimes PPIs can help treat the inflammation in EOE by changing the signals that call eosinophils into the esophagus. To find out if they work for you, your GI doc will ask you to take the PPI for several months. Then they'll use the endoscope to collect tissue and see if the eosinophils have left the esophagus. If the eosinophils are gone, you will continue to take the PPI every day and will be able to eat any kind of food. However, not everyone gets better taking a PPI, so other therapies need to be considered. Swallowed steroids are another medicine used to treat EOE. These aren't the steroids that athletes use to make big muscles. This type of steroid is swallowed to coat the esophagus and help reduce the inflammation. The two most used steroids for treating EOE are budesonide and fluticasone. Budesonide is a liquid that's mixed with the sugar substitute Splenda, or honey, to make it stick to the lining of your esophagus after you swallow it. Fluticasone is a spray that's used to treat asthma. However, when treating EOE, the fluticasone is sprayed into the back of the mouth and then swallowed so that it can coat the esophagus. Whether you take budesonide or fluticasone, both are taken twice a day. It is really important not to eat or drink for at least 30 minutes after taking either medication. The goal is to have the medicine remain on the lining of the esophagus so it has enough time to do its work. Eating or drinking too early will wash it away. As with PPIs, if a steroid works for you, you will be able to eat any kind of food. Biologic agents are yet another treatment option. They've been used to treat several other diseases and new forms of this type of therapy are being studied and becoming available to treat EOE. 
biologic agents are antibodies that are specifically designed to interrupt signals of inflammation. They have been used to treat Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, psoriasis, and other conditions for years. Dupilumab has been used for eczema and allergic asthma, and in May 22, it received FDA approval to treat EOE in patients 12 years and older as a once-weekly injection that can be given at home. Other biologic medications to treat EOE are currently being studied. Ask your doctor for the most current information about biological therapies for EOE. Eosinophilic esophagitis is a lifelong condition. You, your parents or guardian, and your healthcare team will need to work together to find the best therapy for you. You might find that one treatment works well for you today, but in a few years, you might want to try another. The important thing is that no matter what you choose, you must follow your healthcare provider's instructions so your esophagus fully heals. By following these instructions, your symptoms will improve, you'll avoid developing long-term problems, and your esophagus will remain healthy.